Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, Saturday and Sunday sales. So let me tell you, Saturday, I don't know what happened to Saturday. Like the sales just were not coming in. Um, Sunday, I knew was a special day. So sales did come in today. And thank you to all who made a purchase. I really appreciate you so much. And a huge shout out and thank you to Primetime Treasure Hunter. We're gonna get into that here shortly. Um, but in this video, this is a what sold video. I'm going to tell you what I sold on Saturday and Sunday. Um, I'm going to show you the item. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. So there's some big money items in here, a lot of bread and butter, but a great mixture of items that you can look for at garage sales, a straight, a blah, blah, estate sales, thrift stores, YouTube auctions, you name it. Speaking of YouTube auctions, our items for the vote auction 99 challenge went live today. <gasps> I just did mine at like 9 p.m. tonight and I'm getting like bing, 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 bing. I'm super excited. Like nothing super high yet, but a lot of people are like putting in little bits. So I'm so excited. Now, some of my competition, oh my goodness, I'm looking at their listings and they are doing fantastic. But I will tell you, a lot of people brought some big money bolos to this challenge. So if you don't know what this challenge is, you can type hashtag vote auction 99 into the YouTube search and it will pull up all of the competition. There are 29 of us doing this. So that means 29 times five items. What is that? 29 times five. Let me get my, um, Let's just say it's almost 150, something like that. Um, items went to auction, but some of the people I noticed put all of their items up for auctions. So there's probably over 150, 99 cents free shipping starting price. So if you want to see which five items got picked for each person, some of the people did a video, not all of them. So you can go to, I got to remember what my hashtag is, hashtag my five auction 99 hashtag my five auction 99 and that will get you to the videos where we share our five items and everybody's linking down in the description of that video their um ebay store okay so are you ready to see some bolos i'm gonna start with this item that sold on mercari so fast and i have a video where when i found this and it's gonna be on this channel, but I don't think I've posted it yet. This literally sold, I think, within 48 hours. It may have been within 24, to be quite honest. Okay, so these are Yoga Burn Monthly, okay? And I don't always look at the DVDs, and I was at the Goodwill, and I'm like, it was kind of in a bag like this, only it wasn't my Ziploc bag, it was another bag, because I took them out to take pictures of the bag they had them in. You guys, I paid $6.99 for these, plus tax, of course. They're sealed. It's a six-month plan. I'm like, I should keep this and do this. And then I'm like, I saw the comps, and I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Like, I need to do that, but I, I don't have time for that. I have to do YouTube. I have to list. Like, I do not have time for yoga. Sorry. Anyway. This sold for $100, guys. 100 big smackaroos. Yeah, I'm still a little bit floored. Like, I thought I would get an offer. Nope, they just paid my $100. Now, I do have free shipping on this, but um, I think I can ship it media mail. I'm going to see what it costs to ship it priority mail just because they paid $100 for it, and I feel like I should. Um but they're probably in California. So maybe I will ship it media mail if it's California. We'll see. I don't know. I'll look into that. But I want to give you the breakdown for Mercari um, in case you don't sell on Mercari. And if you don't sell on Mercari and you want to sell on Mercari, there is a link down below. And I think you can get like $30 if you sign up, but it's like when you buy something and then when you sell $100 or something like that. But there's a link down below. And if you want to use it, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right. So, um, Mercari took $13.20 and sold for $100. So my cut is $86.80. $86.80. Now, 
um, I do have to ship it out of that. And I paid $6.99 for it. But still, how awesome is that? Now, this item just sold right before the video. And I don't think they've paid yet. So, um, this was in one of my sourcing videos. I think I've shared it. I don't know. I've got some videos pending, you guys. I have been like trying to get them out. I've been trying to do as much as possible so I can get this channel um, monetized. But I am at 804 subscribers, which is awesome. And I'm at like 2,200 watch hours. I need 4,000 watch hours. So keep watching. You guys are awesome. Okay, so Cloisonne, I think. No. This isn't cloisonne, is it? I forget what it's called. Uh oh, maybe it's not cloisonne. It might be, um, let me look at my phone. I need my cheat sheet. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I picked it up at a thrift store and I wanna say it's in the video of what I paid for. It was either a dollar or a dollar 50. Um, let me, yeah, cloisonne, I was right. <laughs> And that was the word that I couldn't say that you guys all helped me with on my other channel, my main channel, Bolo Buddies. So here it is, and it is a beauty, and it sold really fast. So I am getting better at picking out jewelry, but there's the little vintage clasp, and the balls on the bottom, they're a pretty good size, but look at the detail. It is beautiful, and um, I, I took a best offer tonight. Uh, somebody offered me 50 bucks, and I was like, you know what? With what I have in it, I could probably hold out for a little more, but... You see that hair? Why do I always have a hair on my hat that drives me bonkers? There it goes. Did you see it? Flew away. Um, so yeah, 50 bucks on that. Super excited. Um, okay, so we are going to start with the items that were not a part of um, the Support That Seller Sunday. But um, before we go into that, I want to share with you what Support That Seller Sunday is. And Primetime Treasure Hunter put on this um, Support That Seller event. And he does this every Sunday from somebody who has been supportive of his channel or that is active in his Facebook group. And every Sunday in his Facebook group, he invites everybody in his Facebook group to um, make a purchase from one person. And I was the person that he picked for this past Sunday, which was super, super nice. Um, and honestly, my sales on Saturday were horrible, so it could not have come at a better time. So primetime treasure hunter, thank you so much for featuring my store. And, um, thank you to everybody that bought something from me. You guys have no idea. Like it means so much to me. It really does. Um, let me take you to his, okay, so here is his um, Facebook group, Reselling Resource Center. You guys, he does a thing on his YouTube channel called the Chichingathon, which is a way for you guys to generate sales. So definitely check out his YouTube channel for that event. It's awesome, but he has great content, reseller content also. But if you are looking for an event to attend, that is awesome, the Chichingathon. Now, um, if I scroll down, you can see it's Support That Seller Sunday. So every Sunday you will see this event and there will be somebody right here that is featured. And then he features the store and everybody goes and that wants to and places an order and then they put a screenshot in the comments, okay? So I have kept track of everything and I will send him a photo of my packages tomorrow and I will send him a total. So it's not quite midnight yet. I think it goes until midnight. So I may get another order or two, or I may not. Either way, I am like ecstatic with the sales that came in. It's just such a nice, generous thing for him to do for the reselling community. Um, so please go join his Facebook group. It is linked down below. Also, please follow him on um, YouTube. He's a great person. He does so much for so many people. And I just can't say enough about his channel and his Facebook group. So definitely, definitely go um, subscribe and follow. So, and you guys hear me talk about him all the time. I'm not just doing this because I was featured. Like, honestly, he's just a great human being. And um, yeah, and he has great content. So if you want to learn and get educated on some reselling stuff, he's definitely a good follow. Okay, so we are going to talk first about the items that sold not from the Support That Seller Sunday, and then I'm going to go in and show you the items that sold 
from Support That Seller Sunday. So, and let me tell you, there's not much <laughs> that came from not Support That Seller Sunday. I mean, what, last Saturday and Sunday, I had a thousand in sales in two days. And this weekend, it was like, where is everybody at? So here is my thought on this. And you guys let me know what you think in the comments. I feel like eBay is huge. And I feel like it's a roller coaster. And they put you on this roller coaster. And when your items are being shown, you're at the top. And then when you're at the bottom, they're not being shown. And I think a lot of people use their phones. And I know sometimes when I search things, I don't see as many items on my phone as I do on my computer. I could be wrong, but that's my theory. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so I wanna talk to you guys about this gal. Um, again, that's just the theory. I could be totally wrong. I would love to hear you guys' opinion as to why sales go like this on eBay because it really does. Like if I have two bad days, I expect to have a couple good days. Like I just, it's like, I know they're coming. So, okay. So this Barbie is a mermaid and I believe I can't remember now. Um, I think her tail does something. I think it lights up, but I don't remember how to get it to light up. I wanted to show you guys, but I don't recall. And then it comes with this shell. Um, sorry, this shell that light, maybe it's the shell that lights up. The shell definitely lights up. And there's like a couple little accessories in there and then the doll, okay? That fits down, whoopsie, in the, in the shell, okay? So it's a, a mermaid and her baby. There it is. So I don't recall where I got that, but I sold it for $57 on Mercari. Um, my fee for Mercari was $7.65. So my earnings were $49.35 and I will pay to ship this. I, I mostly do free shipping on, um, Mercari. So, um, yeah, let's see. Uh, this little guy is a, uh, cottage collectibles Gans bear. I, I'm not sure if this is going to be, I, I'm not sure. So I sold him for $12.99 and the person is from Canada and they messaged me asking why they were being billed $152. And I'm like, what? There was actually like four numbers in the email, like $40, 60, and then a hundred and something and 152. But I was like, I don't know. It's a $12.99 bear. Are you sure you don't have me mixed up with somebody else? So I am waiting to hear back about that. No clue. So, I mean, garage sale find like 50 cents. Um, let's see. Okay. I sold these shoes and they're a little bit dusty. So let me, let me, uh, wipe those off. Uh, they're little kids shoes and I got them at Gabriel brothers and they were a couple bucks and I sold those for $15.99. The buyer was all in for $22.59. So um, shoes are easy. So I always check this shoe section when I go up to Gabe's. Um, I don't go there like I used to. Those have been sitting a little while, but um, I used to sell shoes and clothing. That was all I sold. So um, yeah, I sold these two little Fisher Price people. I took a best offer of $20 on them. And those went internationally and the buyer was all in for $24 and 80 cents. And the one has, see the little paint wear on the pink one. So they're not in perfect condition condition. They are vintage. So, um, I love selling dollhouse stuff. It's just easy to list and you know, it, it sells at a decent rate. Some things sit longer than others. Uh, okay. If you guys are looking for Lane Bryant jeans, these are crop. And they've got the raw edge hem. And I have a bunch of these in my store. Um, they are marked through, which does not matter. People still buy them. These are size 22. I think I have more 22s. I think I have 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, and 28 in this style. I sold these for $22. The buyer was all in for $31.79. So I've got more Lane Bryant in my store if anyone is interested. Um, 
Okay, Victoria's Secret Brawl. This is another item that I have a bunch of. I have a bunch of Victoria's Secret Brawls. The tags are cut. The Victoria's Secret tag is either cut or marked through. Um, this is just a little like uh, bralette is what they call them. It's got the lace detail in the back. Super cute. Um, I sold that for $13.37. The buyer was all in for $18.32. I showed you the bear. The bear was actually $12, not $12.99. I apologize. I just sold this swim skirt. Again, I have a ton of Lane Bryant uh, swim, cacique, whatever it is. Swim skirts. This one's kind of like a coral color. Um, it's got the you know, panty underneath. They are new without tags, but they do have the liner in them still. And I have a bunch of these. You can see the pattern. Um, I have other colors available. Um, some of them are not this material. They're just regular swim skirts. Some are new with tags. Some are new without tags. But if you're interested in a swim skirt, I'm trying to get rid of my clothes. So uh, come check it out. $15 I sold this for. The buyer was all in for $22.22. Um, Minky the bear. This came from a garage sale. I'm guessing I paid like 50 cents or it was thrown into a lot because um, I don't pick up a ton of stuffed animals unless they are the right price. So they'd have to be cheap or they would have to be in a bundle deal. This guy is called Minky Bear. Minky. It says Minky on the tag um, right there. And I'm trying to see if it, that's it. It's uh, First in Maine is the brand. So I've never heard of it. I He looks like Mink, but it's just faux Mink. Okay. And I sold this for $12. The buyer was all in for $19.11. And do you guys hear my phone going off? Those are bids on my auction style items. So um, yee! there's this uh, ring and it's doing really well. I'm super excited. Okay. So this necklace is a, I think it's called the Tree of Life. So I purchased a lot of high-end necklaces off of Donatella Bottolino at her selling event. And this one was one of them. This one was not high-end. It was just kind of average. But um, still, I knew I could sell it. You, If you look at it that way, it, it's just, it looks cool either way, in my opinion. But um, it's kind of on this rope. But um, the other necklaces are, are high, higher dollar necklaces. There were two that were not as, they were lower end necklaces like this one. And um, both of those sold. The other ones are still listed. I sold that one for $22.39, all in for $29.19. I did have about $8 per necklace. I can't remember how many were in the lot or what I paid for it, but it averaged out to about $8. And again, that was one of the lower end ones, but um, a great lot, amazing lot. Okay, so I got these O'Neill board shorts and their beer. And I will tell you that I think I have three pair left. Maybe I bought out a pack sun store and I got so many board shorts and these are left over from that. Believe it or not. I mean, I probably had 30 pair of these or something stupid. Um, I sold these on Poshmark. I took a best offer of $10. I'm like, I just want them gone. So uh, did I make a lot of money? No. Uh, I think I probably had a couple, two, three bucks in these. Posh took $2.95, so $7.05. So I got my money back and made about $3. And I'm okay with that. Um, here's another pair that sold on Poshmark. These are Volcom from that same going out of business sale. I think I might have one pair of these left. You guys, these are new with tags. Oh, these are Billabong. I am so glad I, I grabbed the wrong pair. So I have Volcom and Billabong that have this same print. And I think I sold the Volcom. So I'm glad I did this video because I would have shipped them Billabong and they would not have been happy because I'm sure they fit different. Anyway, they're similar to those. They're like a board short. Uh, sold for 15 I did send discounted shipping on that. So $4.50 is what Poshmark took. So I get $10.50. So I made more around seven, seven on those. So, all right, let's get to the support that seller Sunday event. And I will show you guys what I have sold so far. 
Um, I'm going to start with a screen share because this item is already packaged. Um, and I'm going to pull it up. It is a vintage ceramic tree. And I took a best offer on this of $52. So the buyer was all in for $83.80. I think I got this at a thrift store. I can't remember. Um, it doesn't have a topper. And it's not huge. It's um, about 15 inches. But it's super, super cute. And it's got like the snowy um, leaves. And it is definitely, definitely vintage. So um, yeah, that's what it looks like there. And yeah, I took a best offer of um, $52. Trying to see what's that say. What does that say? Is that the price tag? That would be funny, wouldn't it? I can't remember what I paid for it. So that would tell me. Oh, it says works. No, nope, not the price tag. Okay, so um, the rest of the items I'm going to hold up for you guys. But that is already packaged, so I'm not going to hold that up for you guys. Um, okay, the first item I sold to, I'm going to just say her name because I know she doesn't care, Mary. And Mary is who I did the um, bins, the Goodwill bins challenge with. And this video is on my new channel. So you guys will have to go to my main channel, my Bolo Buddies, just Bolo Buddies channel to see the bins challenge. But Mary is awesome, and we both went into the Goodwill bins, and we shopped at the same time, and we came out, and we showed our receipts, and showed you guys what we got, and you guys had to decide who won. It was just a friendly competition. There really wasn't a winner. It was just kind of you guys saying, oh, I think so-and-so had the better items, you know. But it was definitely fun, and I definitely want to do it again. But uh, Mary is now doing consignment for me, which is super, super exciting. So I dropped off my... Um, first load to her the other day. So she's starting to list. I did put her link down in the description of the video. If you guys want to check it out, it's her Mercari store. So uh, super excited about that. But Mary bought Marshall and Marshall is a light up toy. And if you, he was in one of my recent haul videos. I don't know if I've listed it or not yet, but it lights up. How cute is that? Now I did pay up for this. I paid $3 and 50 cents for it, but I knew that it would sell fast and for decent, a decent amount. It sold for $12 and the buyer was all in with shipping and tax for $18.06. All right. Now, primetime treasure hunter himself not only puts this great selling event together, but he also buys something. And he is a DC comment Star Wars fan. So this guy will be making an appearance in one of his videos. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to him so that you can see, I think this is Darth Vader. I don't know. I'm so horrible, but it's a little plushy. But um, plushies make, uh, plushies and other things make uh, appearances on his channel. So definitely check that out. So yeah, he buys from the person every Sunday. So, I mean, he's definitely committed. So that's awesome. Um, this sold for $11.99 and he was all in for $19.86. Now this one is super fun. Um, a, a gal in the group bought this and she is a nurse at a school. How cute is this? I lost my tooth. Congratulations. This is, um, from 19. Oh my goodness. Is it? I think it says 83. Hold on. I got to tell you. I'm old. I need glasses. 1983. And it's got this many left. There it is. How cute is that? And this sold for $9.59. The buyer was all in for $15.84. The next item that sold is this ornament. I believe this came out of a mystery box. And it's a little stocking that you can put a picture in. So yeah, that was a mystery box find. It sold for $10. The buyer was all in for $16.18. Okay, the next item is this charger. And I honestly, I think I picked this up at a discount store. It looks like that. I don't recall what I paid for it. I think this was like, I bought it for myself and I never used it. Do you guys do that? That's me. Um, and a shout out to 
Midwest Picker for buying that for from me. Thank you, Midwest Picker. You guys definitely go check out his channel. He is awesome. And this is his buddy, Joey. And Enoch, I think is how you say it. Ah, sorry if I said it wrong, but go check it out. Uh, check him out, Midwest Picker. Okay, the next item I sold are these coasters. So these are from a garage sale. I bought a ton of stuff at this garage sale. And I bought a box of advertising. I can't get them out of the bag. Coasters. And they're like postcard coasters. Isn't that cool? I think these are the right ones. Yeah, New Belgium is what they all say. But they have some different prints. But they're like postcard coasters. So pretty cool, right? Uh, those sold for $11.19, and the buyer was all in for $16.79. This was a long tail item. It took the right buyer, or I guess it took a support that seller Sunday for me to sell it. So the next item that sold are these Harley playing cards. So they've got the little insert and their playing cards. These sold for $11.19. The buyer was all in for $20.98. Um, I think these came from a garage sale. I'm sorry. I can't remember. And I didn't write it down. That was kind of before I was keeping track. So, um, yeah. Okay. Now this item, I love this item. And I was like, just waiting on the right person to buy it. And when this person bought it, I was like, this is so fitting because I love her Instagram. It's Jessie shops and her Instagram posts. Like she wears the cutest vintage clothing ever. I mean, I love her post on Instagram. And then I just found out the other day that she started a YouTube channel. So go check out Jesse shops over on YouTube. Definitely check her out on Instagram. I don't have her Instagram pulled up, but she is adorable and her clothes are so cute. Um, but she bought this super cute pastel vintage necklace. It is adorable. And I bought it in a bunch of jewelry. I don't, it wasn't my bulk buy, I don't believe. I think it was, um, you know what? Maybe it was my, it was my bulk buy. I forgot. I was thinking it wasn't. It was in my bulk buy. So that sold for $15.99. The buyer was all in for $20.94. So Dave and Jesse, thank you guys so much for your purchases. I really appreciate it. Um, and that's mid- West Picker and Jesse Shop. So uh, the next item are these bunnies. And they are marked Disney. I could not figure out who they were when I listed them. So I just put Disney bunnies. And the gal that purchased them, I'm like, do you know who they are? And she said she thinks that they're Thumper sisters. Is that from like Bambi? Who where's Thumper? What's what show is Thumper? But anyway, either way, they're bunnies, they're Disney, and they are adorable. So there's four little bunnies, which is great for Easter. And did you hear that squeak? Um, they sold for $9.99. The buyer was all in for $15.04. Okay, this next item. This is going to be in one of my haul videos, too. And I kind of made fun of myself for picking this up because it's just ridiculous. Listen. and I barely squeezed it. This thing has got a mouth on it. It is so loud. So it's like a squeaky toy. I don't know if it's for dogs or what, but it's hilarious. It was 50 cents. And um, I just listed it. And when it sold, I was cracking up. Like seriously, I was like, yes, somebody bought the chicken. Um, sold for $12. The buyer was all in for $20.59. All right, the next item is adorable. Um, it's a fox, and it sold for $9. The buyer was all in for $16.17. And it's got the original tags on it. It says um, Tattle Tees. Oh, Tattle Toes. Isn't it cute? Little fox. So cute got big feet and a little tail. It's adorable. It's so soft. Such a cutie. Okay. 
the next one came or the next one bought two items from me and it was this vintage back scratcher and this guy came out of a mystery box and it's walt disney world and it's definitely vintage and it's really cool actually very cool i think and then they also got this five nights at freddy's little plushie and they were all in for both those items for 2480 before shipping and tax and after shipping and tax it was $34.32, so these two items. So I am just so excited and thankful for all of you guys that made a purchase. It means so much to me, I really appreciate it. And I know a lot of you guys um, did put in the comments that um, like when you paid that you're a subscriber and you enjoy my channel and I thank you for that feedback too. And for those of you that have never watched my channel, I hope you come on over and check it out. Um, okay, so I sold these Not Your Daughter's Jeans. I paid about three bucks for these at a discount store. They're new with tags. They retail for $98. Um, I bought a ton of these. Uh, I think I still have some left. These, I don't know if I have any more in this size, but I may have some other sizes available. But they're like a jogger. Um, I have solid black also. I think I have some left. I'm not 100% sure. These were a pretty good seller. Um, these sold for $14. The buyer was all in for $23.61. The next item is this ruler. It's a metal ruler. And it's got um, Pika or something. And this came from a from Donatella Bottolino's... Um, it was a mystery box that I bought for $100. This was one of the items in it. So she paid $10 for this. And then she also bought these cute little Lane Bryant shoes. And I have a bunch of these left. I also have black. So if you guys need some cute little flip flops for the summer, they are wide. Um, I do have even size 12, 11. I think I have some 10s and 9s left also. I don't know if I have any 8s left. I might. So those are in my store. Um, the shoes, she paid $8.23. She paid $10 for the ruler. I'm not sure what the all-in price was, but um, those items. And I wrote in the Facebook group, if anybody has a YouTube channel that they want me to shout out, please let me know because I enjoy helping other channels grow. So um, I already knew Midwest Pecker and Jesse Shops, but she's like, I don't have a YouTube channel, but my eBay store is Hetty's Hatbox. So shout out to Hattie's, no, Hetty's Hatbox. So sure, I'll shout out your eBay store, no problem. Thank you for your purchase. Um, okay, the next item is this cute little butterfly. And this came from a garage sale. And it was just with a bunch of items that I bought. So I really don't know what I paid for it. It was kind of like a bundle deal. But it's on a spring. <laughs> so I don't know if you just like hang it outdoors or if you hang it inside. But it's kind of just like a decor. But it's super cute. It's got like little marbles in here. But I sold this for $8.25. The buyer was all in for $14.07. You saw the ceramic tree. I sold this tank top. It's a, a New York and Company just a tank top. I think I have some of these left. I also have them in the color ivory. And then I also have one that is like more of a silk. This one is not silk. This one is uh, cotton. But um, so I have some different variations. They're New York and company. If you're interested in that, I got a bunch of those. You guys can see I'm like, buy the clothing. I want you to come buy my clothing. Um, sold for $7. The buyer was all in for $12.99. Okay. So this item I picked up recently, it was a new newer sale. It's a vintage Estee Lauder. It's got the Kiss Lock. I think that's what that's called. And it used to have like, I think perfume in it. So now it's just like a little um, trinket box. You can hold things in it. It's, uh, it's adorable. And I paid a dollar for it. And it sold for $13.60. And the buyer was all in for $20.49. All right, the next item came from, or was purchased by one of my subscribers. 
and she actually just happened to buy from me today and i was like oh did you buy from me because of support that seller sunday and she's like no she's like that's that's dominic's group right and i'm like yeah she's like no i didn't know about it and um i'm like well go over and put your um put a screenshot you know so i can count it and she did so i just happened to have a subscriber sale today on the same day so we went ahead and uh added it in so she put the screen share up and she knew who i was talking about she just didn't have she wasn't on facebook today so she bought these apples to apples um playing cards replacement playing cards and i've also got the apples um i didn't tell her i had the apples and i didn't put them in the listing i couldn't remember if i kept them or not but i took these out of a game box that was like destroyed so i was like i'll just sell the replacement cards and then i just put the apples in there so she's getting the apples too so maybe she'll need them for her game the replacement apples but she's gonna know now because she watches all my videos on both channels she is awesome and i appreciate her so much um i appreciate all you guys that watch so much you guys have no idea and i don't know if i gave you an update but i'm at 804 subscribers as of this video and i'm at about 2200 watch hours so keep watching i need 4000 and then keep watching after i hit 4000 too but anyway all right the next item that sold oh my goodness this just sold right before the video and this person also said that she watches my channel there were quite a few that said that so i appreciate that so much this is a dream baby. They are uh, little slip, non-slip suction mini bath mats. I have had this for so long. Like I thought this would sell because it's like a safety thing and it's for kids and it took a long time to sell. But they're like, you put them in the bottom of the bathtub. How cute is that? Um, sold for $6.50 and the buyer was all in for $12.77. So I have not tallied up my totals yet because I may have another sale trinkle in and I have to get all of these items shipped now. It is 11.33 p.m. Um, I was working on my video where I showed you guys my five auction items right before this. And um, so I was working on that and then I was kind of nosying around seeing what everybody else is. They have listed their items earlier today. So I'm like, I wonder if they have any bids. And I was like getting all excited about checking their stuff. So I ended up procrastinating and looking at people's stuff instead of doing this video. So I am a little behind tonight. So I'll probably be shipping for at least an hour, but that's okay. I appreciate every sale this weekend if it wouldn't have been for support that seller sunday oh my goodness my sales would have been in the tanker and um i know why because i haven't been listing as much because i've been on youtube a lot this month trying to um grow this channel and um keep my other channel up to date and um my sales have kind of slipped a little so um i am going to try to focus on listing in april um no bolo live show this april um i'm not going to do one this last the end of the month i'm not going to do it i'm going to take that one off so next wednesday is going to be off and then all of april and then we'll see how my sales are because i've got to stay focused because you know reselling being a reseller and ebay is my full-time job youtube is something i kind of do on the side and i'm hoping someday it will cover my time um we'll see <laughs> but right now it's losing me money so i have got to focus and i think i mentioned that in the last video but um yeah that's why i really want to get this uh channel monetized so it can help cover some of my some of my time not all of it but some of it so thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Up in the search bar, put in hashtag my five auction 99, and that is gonna pull up all the videos for the people that did videos on their five items that people chose. Now, not everybody did that because when I started this challenge, that wasn't that was something we kind of added on. Um, so if you want to see all the original videos where they show the 10 items, it is hashtag vote auction 99 and you can see all the videos. Now, um, there is a lot of good bolos, you guys. I just cannot believe like the guts 
and the bravery that these people have bringing these like one girl said her item there's comps for like three or four hundred dollars on it and it's at a hundred dollars right now so that's good at least it's getting bids i'm like i feel so much pressure as the person uh so mountain man treasure and i like i'm like let's do another one troy because we did the thrift 15 challenge and it went really good and i'm like let's do another one will you help me like we can i bounce some ideas off you so i called him and i was like what do you think about this what do you think about that and he's like yeah 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 so um we had 30 people that signed up and if you guys might not care about this i'm kind of just jibber jabbing right now 30 people and it could be anybody that had a youtube channel was a reseller and was willing to auction their items for 99 cents free shipping and um there was a lot of interest 30 of us and only one person was a no call no show and i'm not going to call them out or anything like that but um I was, I was bummed because I was hoping for 100%. I'm a little bit of an overachiever and it was a no call, no show. Uh, wah, wah. But anyway, 29 were an in and showed up and they all just listed their items today. So the auctions are going to run from Sunday to Sunday and please go check out their channels, give them a subscribe. They're all resellers. Some of them are really new channels, but, um, they're really trying and i don't know you guys probably don't understand if you're not a youtuber i guess a youtuber it sounds so weird i'm a youtuber um but when you're first starting out like every subscriber is like so exciting and it's still exciting now i mean i still get like oh i got 20 subscribers today you know it's really exciting and right now with me building this channel like each subscriber every day i'm like how many do I have today? Cause I'm trying to get to that 1000 and I'm checking my minutes and hours and all of that stuff. So, um, it does mean a lot to us when you guys subscribe. It means a lot to us when you hit that thumbs up, when you share our videos. Oh my goodness. When I see that somebody has shared a video, I'm like, that is so nice. Like I appreciate that so much. So likes, comments, comments, help us in the algorithm. So anything, anytime you guys can just hit that thumbs up. I mean, it's free for you guys to do that for us. Um, it doesn't cost you anything and it means so much to us. So I'm kind of speaking on behalf of everyone um, that we really appreciate likes, comments, subscribes, and shares. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. What was your favorite item? Thank you again, Primetime Treasure Hunter. You are awesome. You guys, please go sub him up. Um, he deserves it. He deserves every sub he has. He he does this for somebody every Sunday. I mean, I probably had $500 in sales from just this event. That's just, that's amazing. And you know, he couldn't have done it without you guys that actually bought the items from me. So thank you so much for your support. Um, whenever I get viewer sales, like it's just appreciated so much. You have no idea. So, um, I don't get a lot of them, but I appreciate every single one of them. And it's one of those things that things that kind of comes in waves. So um, thanks again, you guys. I appreciate it. And oh, I have memberships now. If anybody, there's a video, if you guys want to check it out, um, it's just perks you can get for like a monthly fee. It's a way for you guys to support the channel. My content is staying free. Actually, this is the wrong channel. It's on my other channel. So go check out out on my other channel, Bola Buddies. Um, I'm getting mixed up where I'm at. It's getting late. It's almost midnight. Listen, do you hear that? Oh, it quit. Those are um, bids on my auction items. Come on, I wanna see. My phone's uh... Okay, so I got all those bids and the one item is up to $11.50. Hey, that's okay. I'm hoping it goes a lot higher because I'm paying the shipping. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I've said that like six times and I keep getting distracted.